What is going on, Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we're gonna be spectating some random solos and giving tips and tricks on how to get your asses out there, get some kills, and raise your KD. I know a lot of you guys are really wanting to go after stats, really wanting to go after wins, and just improve in general. And the purpose of these videos is to teach you the do's and don'ts of Warzone tactics and strategies. If you do enjoy the video or learn something new, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on and leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 500 likes. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. All right, and again, the purpose of this match is to put you guys in different situations. That way you guys can know what to do and what not to do. Pretty simple, pretty laid back. And when we do spot enemies doing some weird shit or some people were spectating doing some weird shit, we're gonna go in on them. So we're gonna have a little fun with it as well. Um, but there's a lot of fundamentals you guys can pick up just from seeing the things that your average lobbies do. And a lot of people are always like, these are bot lobbies. These are not bot lobbies. These are average lobbies. All right, again, like we always do, I'm just gonna put my guns away, give them a little tea bag saying I love you, and we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna see what we can do. So far, very inaccurate. Not able to read what I'm doing at all. I don't want to win, honestly. Although right now I might want to win. All right, trying to break the windows as we're going in. Already broken, so that right there should be a red alert that there's probably a player around here. Red alert! <laughs> red alert! So we're saying that, and, and it really happened so fast. <laughs> Was saying that when the red alert goes off in your head, maybe you shouldn't just full send in there like your Rambo. Now we have dude, bro, dude. I like that. Hell yeah. Um, level 243 and uh, already got three kills. Looking to capitalize. We got a lot of people airport. We got a few people fighting at garage as well. So hopefully we can leave this area with six kills. Now money's, oh, that's dude. Mm, Activision, let's have another talk. Yo. Why the hell? Who the hell decided they want to go ahead and buff the amount of bouncing Bettys and Claymore on the map? You're an asshole for that one. I mean, literally, I'm talking to you. Whoever you are, you're an absolute asshole. You, you are. You did it on purpose. You did it for lols. I get it. It's funny. It's over. It's tiring. But as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the bouncing Betty. Um, right now, we should be going after kills. We got an OTS. I want to go ahead and kill these enemies before they can get geared up and kill me later on. They probably have way more money than we do garage is a pretty good area so is so is airport and we're just running away and right now in his mind i'm gonna assume he's like fuck i got three kills landing here i want to go ahead and leave before i die he, he allowed the amount of red pings and the amount of people fighting in the airport area um to intimidate him and now he's leaving but here we are going from the known with all those pings popping up knowing where the enemies are at to go into the unknown luckily they are unsuppressed as well as not ghosted and we have an opportunity to capitalize on it now there is a dead body we don't know if the fight's over there could be another player this guy going out for the loot instead of scanning and getting destroyed and again guys look you can never assume after a fight's done with and over that it's actually over there's a lot of players out here third partying like a video i made of my own gameplay a few days ago i was showing you guys how to scan the area before collecting the loot don't just stand on the loot and sit there and loot up while you're trying to play and reload get the safe fortunately that player we just killed he went to safety replated reloaded got us together but he failed to scan the area before he just tunnel vision on the loot so here we are with sixty six hundred dollars now looking to capitalize we know there's more players here or we assume there's more players here one of the vehicles did drive off i like that we're coming over here from a different angle scanning around dude bro dude's doing pretty decent with the slide can so we got dead silence right here and make it quick too make it quick again players are going to want to third party every situation they can all right in and out relatively quickly not going to hit on it too much also slide canceling and if you guys you know can't slide cancel for whatever reason just sprint please turn auto auto attack sprint on if you guys are struggling a lot of players like not playing with it on i get it but if you guys are struggling with movement, if you guys are struggling with getting across the map, if you're getting caught out in the open a lot, make sure you have auto attack sprint on because a lot of players just forget to sprint. Their thumb gets tired, whatever the case is. You go into your settings, you turn auto attack sprint on, it'll help you in more ways than one. Maybe once you get to that level you're comfortable at, then you can remove it. But again, let's practice the fundamentals and go from a basic standpoint. All right, I like the side of side. I like the fact that we 
We're trying to misdirect the enemy, forcing the enemy to track left and then track right, forcing him to be inaccurate. A lot of players would just run straight and take a left. I like to see what he did. I love the fact that we're utilizing this building or tracking the shadow as well. This player is pretty competent. Whether we win or lose a fight, he definitely has a lot more uh, competence than most of the we spectate. Using elevation to his advantage, using building jumping to his advantage. Again, misdirecting the enemy's gunfire. And now look at us sitting on $16,000 with five kills and 67 up. Not the greatest start in the world, but I'm not hating. That's just from my mindset. From, from spectating Reynolds' mindset for the lobby that we're in, this is a great start. Very happy for this guy, and I'm ready to see him capitalize by getting his loadout and moving on. Now, we're in a position where we have a lot of money. We do not need to loot anymore. What would I do? Go to the buy station. Go to this buy station. I love going Boneyard, and I'm all for going Boneyard, but Boneyard's going to be hot. There's going to be a lot of enemies there, and they're probably going to be looted up because of the condensedness, condensedness of the buildings, right? So if you do happen to run over here and there happens to be a team um, with a Lodi sitting on the roofs because you know damn well they do, you're, you're going to get messed up pretty bad. Um, but that's a judgment call at the end of the day. If you feel confident, if you feel like you're on fire and you feel like this area is safe, by all means, go for it. But again, I stand by what I said. I would have gone over here to buy. All right, throwing the buy up. Oh, I like that. All right, throwing the UAV up. I love that shit. Notice that too. It's another strategy we don't talk about often when we're spectating randoms because we don't see it. He throws up the UAV real quick to, to see if there's enemies close by. And again, there may be ghosted players to so still be on alert, but he at least has a little bit more sense of protection. We have a vehicle coming towards us now. They just jumped out at the scavenger. Oh, I'm sorry, a supply run. And they're probably gonna make their way back to that vehicle. Here we have the player trying to make his way to it, trying to get some shots off on him, but unfortunately not connecting. Trying to lead him to the left, but the enemy's probably just gonna go down the street to the fence line. Now look, again, do not forget what we just saw in the UAV. It wasn't just the enemy driving away. There was a ping over here as well. Again, you guys want to pay attention to all the pings. We know there are other players close by, and we need to make sure we do not forget that. I have shit memory, but I try my best um, to, to just remember the pings. Take a little mental photograph so you guys can go track them. We also have UAV. I go ahead and launch that UAV up, buy another one. There we go. Launch it up. Go buy another one. Maybe a self-res as well. Most likely a self-res. And then hunt down these guys. Now, there's the ping right there we are just talking about. Here's another one. You can go both ways. Um, There's an enemy up here as well. I'd probably go to this one so I could go here and then bounce to the next enemy. Not to mention fighting over here. You're just doing a lot of double backing. Nothing bad with it. But again, I want to get as many kills as possible. I want to get as many fights as possible. I'd go here and just basically hop throughout Factory Superstore and Hangars. And as we're getting closer, we throw up another UAV. The enemy is above us on the high level. We could go through the staircase right there on the left-hand side and surprise the enemy. I'm sure he's on the rooftop. He might not be, but I'm sure he's up there. We'll see here in about six seconds. He is above us. And again, just knowing the buildings and the layout, we could have gone through the double doors as we were coming in and climbed up the ladder to our left-hand side. You can still do that now, but now the enemy has an angle on us. The enemy might have a UAV on us as well which is why he's holding this angle. He's definitely there. And another reason why I would have pushed that instantly while the enemy's on the opposite side of the building. Not too bad. <laughs> but now the enemy knows he's coming. Oh, it doesn't matter, we're able to connect. Now look, now look, I was definitely against that. I knew the enemy be holding the angle. I knew he knew we were there because again, he was at the buy station when we threw up the UAV. Um, We're in an unfortunate spot. Most enemies in that position, when the C4 gets thrown at them, when they get hit the first time, They'll back away and replay it up and wait for that second one to come through. If I was the enemy and I got hit by it after holding the angle, I would have bailed away, replayed it, waited for the second one, and then repeat to hold the angle. And the moment that dude bro dude come up, I'd, I'd blitz him down. But it worked out in our favor. It was still a good play. Um, just, again, giving you the mindset of thinking how I'd think if I was the enemy. That's exactly what I would have done to, to destroy dude bro dude. But great play nonetheless. Lobby's dying really fast. I hate solos, dude. Activision, please, for everything that's holy, just get off your lazy asses and, and make a fast collapse mode so, so that solos are not 25 minutes long. All right, unfortunately, we have, uh, we have this. It is what it is. You know, if I was playing the game, hell yeah. This seems to happen more when I'm spectating than ever before. Um, I'm gonna try my best to just shoot, get shot out the air by a god. The lobby's dying off relatively quick, which makes me believe, even though it's solos, it makes me believe there's a hacker in the lobby. So I'm hoping somebody just beams me in the face. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Oh, he's camping and building. I don't want to go to him. Shit. 
Oh yeah, no, 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 bro. I'm good, I'm good. There we go. There we go, brother. All right, he's not cheating. So this, this, this will be a good show, hopefully. We got a Facebooker on our hands, boys. No shots. I post videos on Facebook too. Make sure you follow me. The description's linked in the below. We post exclusive rebirth videos over there. And here we are, spectating Facebook Swan the second, rocking 11 kills. Now, as confident as the last player was, and as, as your average player, here we have this guy who's literally, you know, he's he's up there, right? He, he's up there with us. He's cracked. His fucking movement's on point. His accuracy's on point. His IQ seems to be on point, and he's using vehicles to his advantage. I'd like to see him go for that bounty. I was about to, I was about to troll you, Swan, if you want to grab that bounty. I love it. I love it, brother. Oh no! Oh no! God no! We go from spectating Swan to spectating Quiet Poots. Damn it! You already know. Seeing how the fuck Swan just died, you already know what we're in for. Great. Thanks a lot, Poots. We we're we we're in for a treat. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Look, we all die to bots. Right? It is what it is. I died to bots more than I died to great players. I would have died to poots way more times than I ever would have died to Swan. Swan was competent. I was so excited to spectate that game with Swan. Damn it, bro. But now, you saw a little bit of, of Swan's gameplay. Now, I want you to compare it to this gameplay. The movement, the slide canceling, the scanning, the awareness, the decisiveness, the ability to traverse through the map quickly and get kills. Now, I know there's a player on the roof because he was shooting at us when we were spawning back in. Um, he didn't, so we're not going to hate on him for that. Been spending most of my life playing in a camper's paradise. And here we are, moving on a lazy sniper. Definitely lazy as shit sitting on a... He's not even sniping. Oh my god, you can't make this shit up, boy. He cannot make this up. <laughs> With a name like Lazy Sniper, I'm sorry. You got it. You got to snipe. It's just, it is what it is. You cannot. And here we move on. Not really sure what we're ADSing at right now. Maybe he's just checking to see if the AC unit was working properly. You know, sometimes buildings like this, their AC does run a little, a little hot, a little warm. So I like the fact he's at least checking up. Maybe write the manager an angry letter saying, hey, bro, your shit's fucked up. He's about to look at it again. Watch. He's not really too sure. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know what we're looking at. I'm trying to understand every player's mindset as we spectate them. But when I spectate things like this, my mind just goes blank. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Lazy Sniper's mind's doing, too. He's just trying to hold this building, which is a very bad building to hold. We have a train station that's got a higher elevation. We have tower that's got an angle on us. We have the bank building and all those buildings that are like promenade to our left-hand side, or I guess this is left-hand side for you guys. Um, and it's just, it's just a bad play. Him getting this far is just pure luck. It's just purely the fact that the lobby died off and no one happens to be over here. And he just waits. He just waits for an enemy to come up the ladder and gets the kill. Don't know what the hell that was. A little bit of jitter, no big deal. All right. Stick drift, what is, the, what is, he, what is he doing? Oh, he marked an SUV. Okay. All right. I guess, yeah. Sure, mark it up. I guess we couldn't see it without it being pinged. Would have lost my shit if he would have broke his ankles. And now we're moving on. The circle is rotated down to the south. Um, speaking of positionings, I'm going to assume he's going to go up here. Exactly. Duh. <laughs> that's, that's the camper's mindset, right? Um, if I was playing this, um, I wouldn't want this position now. And the reason why I wouldn't want this position now is because it's center circle. If you're holding this, you're going to have to watch the entire area like he was in the building. But the difference between the building and this is the building has a lot more cover with AC vents and all those pipes and everything going on. Him having the ability to hold this, probably not, probably not going to happen. I'm going to be honest. So what would you do from this position? Well, you got to look at the map from a strategy standpoint. And this is going to be a map lesson right now. You want to attack a compound like this, attack a compound like this. Um, even one like this or this, you don't want to play these areas because it's wide open um, to cross. And if, if you're playing the edge and you're pissing people off and you're getting kills and you have to cross the wide open area like that, like this right here, it's going to be very, very hard for you when the circle dives down to the south, which it will. So again, I want to centralize myself, but I don't want to be dead center. So I like the fact that at least came here to get a kill. No idea where the enemy went. 
and we're gonna we're gonna post up and it's not a bad building to post up in i hate seeing posting up but in an ending like this playing a little slower is not a bad idea as much as i want to hate on them for sitting on a rooftop um this is actually not a bad strategy when you guys get to end games when i when i spectate videos i always tell you guys be aggressive go out there and fight however when you get to end game situations like this and you've made it this far there's 16 enemies left we're talking about end game situations you need to slow it down you need to unless you have the ability to go out there and slap bitches left and right do not go out there and throw your game take your time now look for this enemy here that's running he's gonna go to the buy station come up the hill we won't have an angle to kill him so i like the fact that we diverted from that guy and we're looking over here where we heard a sniper shot i'm there he is all right i was about to mark on the map exactly where i thought he was at and i would have been close i was gonna say he's here um he happened to be here so all right cool but i remember made a lot of noise so we need to scan around he's not scanning which is kind of scary but we'll see 15 people left in the small circle it's gonna be an interesting fight there it is there it is again make sure in a circle size like this when you have only a few compounds you're scanning around you're checking your corners you're checking your angles he cleared this building he assumed it was still clear and he assumed incorrectly now we know there's a guy on this hill but he does not and he's gonna go out here now he needs to be scanning heart beating stupid stupid as shit dumb don't do it he's gonna whip it out one more time now it will reach that hill barely but it'll only cover literally like like right like the rocks not really sure what we're doing right now we're sitting here watching dragonflies that's kind of cool i never noticed the dragonflies before i'm gonna be honest that was kind of that was kind of dope we're gonna drive up here now i would automatically assume regardless of seeing that player i would automatically assume somebody was over in this direction because of the high ground advantage it has on the rest of the map so he needs to have that mindset as well or he's gonna be met with c4 rpg or maybe even bouncing betty's also red alert door is open i believe i saw movement in that top window i did let's see how he approaches this fight this is a situation where i wish we had a cluster strike we know where he's at why are you fucking heart beating him guy oh man good thing he's got a heartbeat sensor wow one more time there it is boy Ooh, daddy now look Again, the circle's getting smaller. More players will eventually collapse on this building because it's one of three left. One of three compounds left, I should say. So people will be coming in from this angle. We need to win this fight, win it fast before we get third partied. Oh, shit. Okay, this throws an audible. Here comes the third party situation we are just talking about. Now, now we've camped and waited our ass off, we could take the opportunity to push. We needed to shoot that bounce of betting or that claymore and get it out of here. We need to shoot the claymore and get it the hell out of here. It's the only way we're gonna win this fight. If we just try to live under this enemy, it's not going to work out well. Jumping out the window, jumping back in, jumping out and back in. All right. And heart beating one more time to make. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? He sees our flashlights. He knows we're here. No doubt about it. He knows we're here. Good decision backing off, expecting the stun. I would have expected the enemy to have a heartbeat. He's up there, son. We know it. Oh, my God. Weird. I wonder when Winterborn, was it the first heartbeat, the second one, the third one, the 16th one, or the 24th one that told you where he was at? I really need to know. <laughs> look, right now, instead of you look at the heartbeat, look out the window, son. Scan with your eyes. We heard shots over here by the buy station. I mean, by the loadout. Just look, man. Open your eyes, homie. You guys can see so many things if you're not staring at the heartbeat the whole time. Let me go back. All right, let's go back to the high ground, boys. Let's go back to the high ground. There are four enemies left. Again, we heard gunshots over here. He's probably going to push to us. This guy's probably going to push. In fact, we're the last building. Everyone's probably going to push to us or play play the ridge. Oh, my God. Swan, brother, I really wish. If you see this video, Swan, I really wish we would have spectated your gameplay, homie. I really do. I really do. You seem like you're on your shit. I'm, I'm sorry. You got killed by players like this. I apologize for it on behalf of Warzone. <laughs> you hate to see it, man. It happens to me all the time. I get it. <laughs> Been there, done that. All right. So because we failed to gather intel, we failed to look out the windows, we have no idea where anyone's at now. And now we have to leave our safe zone. Eh, no, we don't. We're good. He's not going to leave. He's going to sit there in the corner where the door's at. 
Again, gathering intel in positions like this, whether you want to fight or not, is extremely important. Do you want to play passive? If you want to play aggressive, I don't give a shit. Look out the windows in all directions, not just in one direction. He thinks there's a player there because there's multiple buildings. There may be a player there, and I don't mind you holding this at all. I get it, but again, I would have scanned the other windows and looked around, watched people rotate in, and then look. Building's getting pushed out now, and now he looks away? Why? We, bro, you knew there was a guy back there? He, he, he's lucky that player wasn't good. He would have shot us in the back of the head and got the kill. Again, bro, what What if he rotates to the left? What if he rotates to the right? You're not going to see him. He said, I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. You got scared. That precision move that door. You got, uh-oh. He's not, he's not staying in there. Wow. Did not see this coming. We still have the high ground, kind of. I don't like our position, but we still have it. We have an enemy to our right for sure. He may have jumped down the ridge. Again, failing to scan, failing to look where enemies are shooting at. We heard gunshots to the left-hand side, and we don't care. We're not even looking. Now we need to pre-rotate. We see him right there. Go ahead and just track him. Fuck it. Turn around and look somewhere else. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I, why I spectate videos like this because so many players still do this shit. <laughs> He's going to die. He's not going to win this game. He's not going to win this game. No chance in hell he wins. No chance in hell. It's a 1v1 situation. Sniper just making everyone his bitch. Now, the only chance is that the circle rotates to us and the enemy has to come to us. Nope. Gather intel! We know where he's at, my guy. We we know where he's at. He's going to be playing that heady. He's going to snipe you right in the face. I lied. He rotated up. Great play. Great play. I did not see that coming either. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, baby! The great white! The guy he downed originally. Oh, my God. The one that we should have kept looking at, but we didn't. And we just assumed he ran away. Wow. The great white coming in, getting the kill, getting the vengeance kill and giving him the beautiful fucking salute of fuck you. I love that. I love it. But GG. Again, guys, doing this video, I just want to go ahead and point out that, um, you know, confidence is a, is a huge thing. Also, your eyeballs are a great tool. Uh, you don't worry about your movement. Don't worry about aim and accuracy. Just focus on looking with your eyes. That heartbeat didn't tell us all the information. So why would you guys rely on that heartbeat if it doesn't tell you everything? It's not going to tell you ghosted players. It's not going to tell you players further away. Half the time we were in an empty house and he was just heartbeating 900 times. I don't understand the point of it. I don't get why he's sitting on an enemy with a heartbeat, scanning him 19 times. Like the dude's about to self combust. I, I just don't get it. But anyway, guys, have a good one. Stop doing this shit. Go out there, get better, break these bad habits. But until next time, you have a good one. Good looking Warzone.